So let's have a look at how we connect the water up to the trailer. We're going to run through how to connect cold water to the kitchen and then how to connect the hot water to the kitchen. Then we're going to cover off how to have cold water coming out of the drawer bar and then finally how to set up the hot water unit where you want to use it just with a shower. So let's have a look at how we get to the water out of our tank and get it out of the kitchen sink. So we've already connected here the drain hose to go down into a bucket and up underneath the sink will be two lines. So they'll be just... Okay, so here they are here. One is white, which is the cold, and the other is red, which is the hot. So for the purpose of this video for now, we're just gonna show you how to get the water out of the tank to the kitchen, just cold. All right, so this is the cold line. So we're gonna bring this around here and connect it into the um, outlet of the trailer. So with this cold line, we push away from ourselves, and then we put that hose into that hole and that'll click and come back. And now that's secure. So let's talk about the cold water coming out of the tap firstly. We have the white line attached to the back of the trailer. We showed you that before. And now I'm going to turn on pump two. This particular trailer has two water tanks. So pump two runs to the kitchen sink. If your trailer just has one pump, it will just come out of the kitchen sink. So you'll have one pump button there. So let's press pump number two. Now we know that the pump is on because the light is on. If you do turn on your pump and you find the lights aren't on, it means that your battery's flat or your isolator switch is off. The water won't come out unless we've moved this faucet up. And now the water is coming out of the tap. So off and on, it's as nice as simple. Drop that down really just so that it's out of the way. And then when we're not using it, we recommend you turn off the pump. So the tap has a hot and a cold dial. If you only have your cold line connected and you turn on your tap, it will work when it's on cold, but when you come up to hot, because you do not have that hot line connected, which we'll show you later, the water won't come out. So it's not broken, there's nothing wrong with it. You just can only use cold to when you get to the end of the cold. So on the drawer bar, you will have another tank outlet. This is connected to either the second tank or in the case where there is only one tank, this is also connected to that one tank. That one, one tank will come out of the drawer bar and also out of the kitchen. Or if there's two tanks, it'll come out on its own at the drawer bar. So let's go and have a look at how we get the water to come out. So we turn on pump number one. Now we know that the pump is on because the light is on. If you do turn on your pump and you find the lights aren't on, it means that your battery's flat or your isolator switch is off. So we've got our pump on now and we'll turn on the water on the draw bar. I'm not sure how fast this is gonna come out. Okay, a little bit at the start and there she goes. So nice and decent flow there. So let me explain how you connect the hot water to the camper trailer so that you can use it to shower or also use it out of the kitchen sink. On the rear of the trailer, on the driver's side, we have two water line connection points here and also another two on the passenger side. So we have a hot little instantaneous hot water system here that we have connected to a gas bottle. And what this little hot water service does is it brings the water into the hot water service, it heats up the water to whatever temperature you choose, and then it comes out of the hot water system. What normally happens with these is you have an inlet, which is the white hose, but the outlet is normally a shower hose. 
Now we've gone and changed this hot water system and added an additional water line, which we have just made red to indicate that this is going to be the hot water that comes out. So you need to get your little instantaneous hot water system. And on that driver's side of the trailer, you need to connect these two water lines. At the back of the trailer will be a blue outlet marked and there will be a red outlet marked. So let's plug these into the back and I'll show you where they go. So you push that forward and then in goes that connection. So that's the first one. And then you push that forward and you connect the second one. So they're the water lines that are going out of the trailer. So what's gonna happen is you're gonna turn the pump on your trailer and you're going to have the water come out of this white line and this trailer will do it all for you. It'll come out of this white line, it'll go through the hot water system and then it'll come back out the hot water system into the rear of the trailer. Now let's go and have a look at where it's gonna come out and then what you have to do there. So on the other side of the trailer where the kitchen is, underneath the kitchen we've taken out these two lines. One for hot and one for cold. And now we are going to connect these into the other side of the trailer as we did before, red to red and white which is cold to blue. So let's go and pop them in there. So one in hot. and then we've got the other one into the cold. So now we're coming back to our hot water system and we're turning on the gas and we're turning on the unit and setting it to the temperature that we want. Now we need to go and turn the pump on and it will just do everything itself. So now we turn the pump on and we lift the tap and then we start the water. And when you do get to the hot, it might take a moment for the hot water to come through and then you will have the water coming out of here at whatever temperature you set the hot water system at. So in your kitchen drawer, you will have some spare little connections here. They're the hose connections that go into the water line here. If you have a spare shower rose, instead of having a shower separately over somewhere else, you could get this shower hose and go to your hardware store and connect the hose to this air, air hose, which connects into the back here. And then you would be able to get directly from this hot line. Remember, it comes through the hot water system, through the back of the trailer and back out of here and it would normally go into the sink, but we've taken that one out and we're not putting it back into the sink and we're going to have it coming out of the shower hose. So you could essentially have a shower tent at the back of the trailer and then you could plug in the shower, shower rose when you want to have a shower and then plug in the kitchen sink when you want to use it out of the kitchen sink. So that's just a little hack that you can do to make it a bit easier for yourself. So the other way you can have a shower with hot water is to take your hot water system and we have taken off the line that's standard on this hot water system to accommodate the use on the back of the trailer. But we have got our shower hose here which we provide you. So normally what would happen is the water would come out of the trailer in this line and go through the unit and then back through the trailer. But if you were to reconnect the shower hose that we give you here, instead of it going down this red line back into the trailer, it's a standard shower. So that's another way you could have a shower using the hot water system in the trailer. On the driver's side of the trailer are your water tank fill up points. The front uh, access point here will fill up the front tank and the rear for the rear tank. And there'll be one key, which is labeled O1 in this case, but to open up the tank, you need to pop the key in and rotate, and that will bring out the cap. You can't pull the key out while the cap's out, so you need to keep that in the, um, the socket there and then pop that back in and rotate and that's relocked. Really